today's home workout is focused on power. So we're gonna do an activation series, do a power warm up, and then focus on a couple different sets of exercises with power tempo, and of course do a finisher at the end. So let's get right to the warm up. We're gonna start on the ground doing a 3D plank. What that means is, we'll first do a regular forearm plank right here. Forearms down, fists apart, feet together, holding for 20 seconds, and then we'll go over to a side plank. So on the forearm on the ground, knees bent, we'll start by lifting the hips off the ground, pressing hips forward, holding here for 20 seconds, or if this is a little bit too easy, we can come all the way up onto the sides of the feet and hold 20 seconds here and 20 seconds on the other side. After that, we're gonna stand up and do a toe touch. So we'll take the feet almost all the way together, slight bend in the knees, reach overhead, and then hinge at the hips, just reaching towards the toes. It's okay if you don't get all the way there. We're just looking for the stretch on the back of the legs. So we'll do six toe touches here, and then we'll go into a side lunge to a hurdle hold. So we'll go side lunge, pause and balance. Side lunge, pause and balance. You're going for 10 of those on each side. You'll go through those three exercises two times before moving on to Tabata. So for this next part, we're gonna do pogo hops. You'll want a timer here. You're gonna do 20 seconds of hops forward and back, 20 seconds side to side, 20 seconds rotational with 10 seconds rest in between, two times through. So the, for the first one, we'll imagine there's an imaginary line right here at my feet. For 20 seconds, I'm gonna hop both feet together, forward and back, forward and back, just like this. If hopping is not available to you, you'll just step forward and back, forward and back, for 20 seconds quickly. Rest for 10 seconds, then pretend the line is this way, hop side to side, same thing, stepping if you need to, Rest for 10 seconds, and then for the last 20 seconds, we're going rotational here. Rotating the hips, hopping up and down. So we'll go through that Tabata set two times for three total minutes, get the heart rate up before getting into our sets of power tempo exercises. So set number one, we have four exercises. We'll go through four rounds through. We're gonna start with push-ups with a power tempo. So you'll do push-ups wherever you normally would, if that's elevated, on the ground, or on your knees. What power tempo means here is that you're gonna go down on a three count. So we're gonna go one, two, three, pause, push up quick. One, two, three, pause, up. Power on the way up is your goal. After that, we'll stand up and do a split squat. Same thing applies. We're gonna stand here tall on the back toe. We'll lower down on the count of three. One, two, three, pause, up with power. One, two, three, pause, up. One, two, three, pause, up. Eight of those on each side. This next one is a wood chop. If you have a dumbbell, you can use that. Otherwise, you can use anything around the house a water bottle, or even a pillow. So I'm gonna take this pillow, I'm gonna hold it like this with some tension, really squeeze it, and I'm gonna start with my feet, shoulder width apart, knees a little bit bent. This is where I come back to. I'm gonna reach overhead, stand tall, chop it down with power, stop it right on a dime here on my belly button. Up, chop, up, chop. We'll do 15 of these, thinking power on the way down. After that, lastly, we'll do skaters. So we're just hopping from one foot to the other, one foot to the other, thinking power on the lift off. If hopping is not good for you, we're just going side lunges, alternating side lunges. Whichever one you choose, it's 15 each. Then you're back to push-ups, four rounds of those, keeping that power tempo. After that set, we're moving on to another set of four. Number one, we have horse stance punches. So we're getting our feet super wide, feet facing forward, knees bent. We're gonna start with the hands right here in the armpits. We're gonna use power as we punch out and pull back. Punch out, pull back, and then we'll get going a little bit quicker. P 
punching with power every time. 15 each, staying low in the stance. Good, after that, we're going squat to tiptoes or squat drop. So the power's on the way up. So we're coming down with slow control, coming up quick. Down slow, up quick. Down slow, up quick. If you can jump, turn that right into a squat jump. We'll do 15 like that. After that, we are gonna grab that pillow or that water bottle or that weight and do a diagonal chop with a pivot. So we'll start in the middle again. We're gonna reach diagonally, pivot the foot, turn the hips, and come down to the middle. Pivot, come down. Pivot, come down. Using power on the way down. 15 each side. Last exercise is an anterior reach to tiptoes or to a hop. So that looks like this. We're gonna reach one leg back, super straight, come up on the toes. Reach, up on the toes. Or turn that into a hop. Power on the way up. You'll go through those four times. After that, that we're on to the circuit. Three exercises, 30 seconds each, four times through. The first one, you can use two dumbbells for, or the pillow again. We're gonna do a squat and press. So for 30 seconds, if you have dumbbells, they're going right here. We're going squat, power to the top. Squat, power to the top. If you don't have dumbbells, you'll take that pillow again. Squat, up. Squat, up. Thinking power on the way up. 30 seconds there. Then we'll go down to the ground or to an elevated surface for mountain climbers. We're dragging those knees up with power. And lastly, we're going split jumps or reverse lunges. So if you can hop, we'll go here, switching legs, switching legs, hopping back and forth. Otherwise, we're just doing alternating reverse lunges. 30 seconds of each. Enjoy the workout, have a great week. See you guys next time.